Hi, so I want to show you how to put the building challenges into Seesaw if you would like to use that for the distance learning. So if you, and this goes with anything really on how to put a PDF into Seesaw. So I'm going to go, let me screen share so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to open up my PDF. And it's really big, but you don't want it that big because you want to take a, um, like a screenshot of that page to put into Seesaw. So I'm going to hit command and then I'm going to hit a minus sign to make it a smaller page. You could also do it up here on this part right here. I guess I could have done that. So you could see how to do that. It doesn't matter what computer you're working. You could use that. All right. So I want to go to the challenge I want to assign to my students. I've already done the tall tower. So let's say I want to do uh, build a bug. So I'm going to hit you could do a screenshot and then crop it, but I'm going to hit the shift command four on a Mac. And I'll look it up for the other computers and put it in the comments for other computers what you do. Um, and I'm going to just grab that image right there. Now I want to need, I need the form too that the kids are going to fill out. So I want to grab this one. So I'm going to do it again where I'm going to hit shift. Command four, and I am going to just grab that part right there to add to Seesaw. So now I have the directions and the form. Now I'm ready to go to Seesaw. Get rid of that and let me go to Seesaw. So here's what it looks like. Here's an example of one that's done where they, you put, they have their name, they put the materials, um, how tall it was. Now he didn't have a ruler, so there's nothing there. And then his answers for that. And then he can put a picture in for his blueprint. So I'm gonna go to add, I'm gonna assign a new challenge. I'm going to hit the plus sign for create new activity. And let's say build a bug. And I'm going to put in the directions here. So I'm gonna select from the computer. And I had just got it, so it should be on my desktop. And there it is right there. So it's the first one. And there's the picture of the instructions, which will go to them. I'm gonna hit the check mark. And I'm gonna hit the check mark again. Now I'm gonna hit put in the form that the students will use to um, complete this challenge. So I'm gonna select from the computer. I'm going to grab that form, which is on my desktop. And there it is, and I'm gonna hit my check mark. This is what the students will see when they open it up, that assignment. You will not do anything to this right now. And there it is. So I have build a bug. I have their instructions right there and then the form. I do have to type in here for it to save as an assignment. So I'm gonna say use Legos to build a bug and fill out the form. All right, then I'm gonna hit save and then I will assign it and I'm going to assign it to my sample class. I can also choose a folder like if I want a folder for this if and this is usually math I'd put it into math probably or writing. I'll go ahead and click that and I can assign it right now. It's going to go out to everybody right now or I could schedule it for like say tomorrow or Friday or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and assign the class right now. And if I go back to the class, you would see that it is there. It's ready for my students to add their response to it. And they would find it in the activities tab right here. And so I hope that that helps. You could use any PDF into Seesaw if you can grab that image and use it as a picture and upload it. And then they can write in the form or write into whatever that worksheet is that you might grab the image of. Well, I hope that helps. And if you would like this product, I will link it in the comments. Thank you.